And hello guys, this is Megaris24 here and today I'm back with uh, another video. Uh, we are doing a tutorial today on how to get the wind effect on Photoshop CS5. So here is one of the designs that I've made, mini speed art. You should, if you haven't seen that uh, video already. And here's another one which I've got as my current desktop background. And here it is. Get rid of that. Close that. Yeah, so today we are going to be making uh, one of these. And so, yeah, first off, you need to know your screen resolution. So you right click on your desktop and then it should come up with screen resolution. And then it comes up with this window and it says resolution here. And you click on this. And then your screen resolution that you need to use is the one that is recommended so mine is 1366 in uh, and times 768 so yeah so we're gonna put that down and go file new and then so 3600 yeah that's it no 3000 no 1366 right and then you go 768 I Yours might not might be different to mine. Might it might be the same? It's always good to check if you want it to be your background. So here we go. We have got the page. So now what you want to do is go um, on the keyboard. You need to press Shift and Backspace, and then it comes up with this window. And you click on this little arrow here, and then you click on black, and then you press OK then it got turns black so yeah and then next next step is to press on the text uh, tool and then you um, write whatever you want I'm just gonna put uh, Reese and make sure you have the right text size to fit on your screen so 200 yes yeah, so 200 will do for me and the text I'm using the, on this video is oh uh, where is it is generator rex I'll leave a disc um, link in the description for you to download uh, so yes so we've got that there and now what we need to do we need to go down and go down to the layers and then where it says the text layer you need to press Control J then it duplicates the layer so now we have got a Reese copy and we need to click on the original um, text so that will be under and under the text so what we're going to do now is we're going to do the wind so what we need to do we need to go on stylize and then wind and then press OK and first off you need to do it from the right and then just press OK then as you can see it has this little wind effect here and if you want to extend it it's up to you I'm, I'm going to extend it you need to press control and F I've I've pressed that three times no, uh, twice I don't know how much you can do it as uh, far as you want but it's up to you um, and now from the left and then you press OK then you press control F twice one two and now we've got that you need to go on image and then image rotation then you click on 90 degrees counterclockwise then it should be like this and then what you need to do to do now is click on filter stylize wind now do it from any direction and then press OK then it should go from this way now so then you press control F1 two three I like it like that so then we'll go on filter again then stylize and wind and then go on from the right and then go on then press control F three times one two three then after you've done that you need to go on image image rotation 90 degrees clockwise so it's back to normal and then your text should be should barely be visible but I can just see it just all and I got to draw there oh 
liked it. Sorry about this, I accidentally pressed the wrong thing. Okay, right, your text should barely be visible, but I can just see, just about see it. And now, on this little, uh, on the layer, you need to right click um, on the right of the layer. Oh god, what's this? Do you want to change your color scheme? Nah, I'll save that till later. Um, then what you need to do now is click on, double click on color overlay. And then as you can see, it has changed the color of the wind effect. So you can do it any color you want. I'm just going to go for nice green. So yep, just that's what you want for this layer. And then you click on the Reese copy. Well, on your on your text copy. And then you right click on and then you um, double click on the right of the copy and then you need to tick drop shadow in a shadow outer glow in a glow and stroke and it should look like this and then if you want I'm just gonna do this uh, if you want you can click on bevel lamp emboss and then you can change the 3dness kind of I'm gonna have mine as 16 so that looks pretty nice um, depth, uh, have it as 174%, then you press OK, and that is basically it guys, thank you guys for watching, I will be doing, um, a little slideshow of my other creations of, um, on Photoshop, so yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, rate, comment, subscribe, and enjoy my other designs.